Today we're introducing the new John Deere 4640 Universal Display. Um, what we've seen is that over time, customers really demand a good user experience and a common experience through all of the machine types that they use on their farm. We've had Gen 4 command arm in tractors since 2014. Recently, just this model year, we've introduced that same command arm technology, that same generation four operator system into sprayers as well as into, into combines this year. And now with the introduction of this display, we've expanded that reach into older John Deere tractors, 30 series and newer, as well as compatible, um, compatible competitive machines um, that are AutoTrack Universal or AutoTrack Controller compatible. What that means is for customers is that we really focus on three things. Usability, the Gen 4 user experience um, is, is really usable for growers, for operators, um, depending on, uh, regardless of which machine type or which machine form they're in. Um, it's, it's interactive, graphical user interface, online help. Really helps them get started quick, get to work quick. Speaks to efficiency. The other thing that's important about this display, particularly in comparison to the Green Star 3 2630 30, um, display, is um, improvements in performance. So updated, new, faster processor speed means that higher quality work being done in the field. Um, because we're monitoring application rates, seeding, um, we're doing a better job hitting the rates that we're really looking for for seeding for nutrient application. The third thing that this display really delivers to growers today are, is choices. This display is available with subscriptions. Subscriptions are available in two levels, auto track only or a more advanced application package in a subscription format, including auto track documentation and section control. So two levels of subscriptions. Also along with that, each of those subscriptions are available in two different durations, either one year or five year. That really gives the opportunity, the grower opportunity choices in how they match their needs on the farm to what they need out of the display. And um, as we go forward with that, um, it, it really speaks to the way that they want to buy, they want to use, they want to pay for that user experience, as well as being able to better match financing that they may need to, need to use to purchase that display perhaps with a used piece of equipment. So again, usability, performance, and choice. That's what we think about with the John Deere 4640 Universal Display. When I think about the price points, and that was certainly part of the decisions that we made um, in, in terms of how we were going to roll this out and offer it to customers, um, price is really important in any of these buying decisions. It may not always be the first decision point, um, as, as um, a grower looks for a new display, but it's certainly a consideration. And the price point with this display and activations, cost of entry is about one half the price of our GS32630, our Green Star 32630 display with similar, similar activation. So as an example, a Green Star 32630 um, with an auto track activation um, runs close to um, $10,000. This display with a first year subscription of AutoTrack only is $4,800, $4,850. So about half that cost of entry to get started. The same would be true with the more advanced applications including documentation section control along with AutoTrack. So really helps those perhaps younger growers or even, um, even a grower that has perhaps one of those older vehicles in their fleet um, but hasn't ever made the investment, committed to an investment on AutoTrack for that for that machine. Now they could buy this, this display and put AutoTrack on that machine and, and get the functionality, the efficiency that AutoTrack delivers on that older machine for a lower cost of acquisition. We're always looking for, <coughs> excuse me, looking at that and, and thinking about how we can best deliver that value to a customer at a price point that makes sense for them um, to really help them farm better. Um, we haven't made decisions yet about how those are going to ha happen, but what we know is, is that there are going to be some applications, more advanced applications that come along, that will become part of existing subscriptions on this display in particular. There may be other applications, advanced guidance applications as an example that come along, and may yet be another tier or another layer of that description, another um, 
another level of subscription. So decisions haven't been finalized, but we think there's probably a combination of both. Bring in some advanced functionality into the existing subscription levels, adding more value to that subscription, and then the offer of perhaps a higher level of subscription that offers broader functionality.